Hello everyone, my name is Isaac Walshaw. Today I want to talk to you about why getting a college degree is better than not having one. I want you to consider this image for a few seconds. What do you see? Who are the people? What is happening? Are they protected fully from the condition? What is likely to happen when you exit a building? Step onto a major street. You see a throng of pedestrians sauntering to another point of destination during heavy raining conditions. Well, everyone outside with an umbrella is likely going to be protected, at least to some degree, from getting soaked in the rain. With an umbrella, a few rain droplets might get on your pants, on your clothes. But the pedestrians without an umbrella is likely going to get very, very wet. Today, I want to make three arguments. And I want to essentially argue that a college degree is an umbrella of manifold colors. The first point that I'm going to make, an argument I'm going to seek to convince you is that a college degree is robust enough to protect and rescue one from the harsh reality of economic and employment turbulence. The second argument I'm gonna make is that a college degree is solid enough to guide one from the sharp rocks of poverty and financial insufficiency. The last point I'm gonna make is that a college degree is strong enough to usher one into a wellspring of knowledge, opportunities, and other skills and benefits that are unquantifiable. Consider today's economy. According to Uber uh, in Washington, DC, one driver can make as much as $55,000 a year. According to CBS News writer, um, 55, 5, 000, this is 5,000 more than the median annual wage for American workers. Consider this, suppose there are two, two, two students or perhaps one is a dropout. Um, let's call him Mike and another student who gets a degree in counseling psychology. Let's call her Anna. Now Anna makes as much as $29,000 per year as a counseling psychologist. Mike, who drops out of college um, on the first semester, is making $55,000 a year as an Uber driver. Here is, are some statistics from the National Center of Education Statistics. In summary, in a public and private four-year institution, over the span of 10 years, we've seen a dramatic increase in tuition fees. What is the point of going to college and accumulating student loans? What is the point of going to college and paying so much when college education has just become more expensive? What about mountain student loan debt? Why get a college degree if you're gonna end up in debt? Reckon with this. As of the year 2021, the total student loan debt in the United States is over 1.7 trillion. I repeat, trillion dollars, and that's not even all. We've got 43.4 million borrowers have federal student loan debt. The average federal loan debt balance is 37,113. Private loan debt added, the average may rise as much as $40,904. The average public university student borrows $30,000 and $30 just to attain a bachelor's degree. Picture this, suppose you're a human resources manager. You're seeking to hire several candidates to fill out a job opening for an entry level, for entry level job positions. Legal assistant, office clerk, secretary, and sales associates. For each job positions, there are over 100 candidates who have applied. Who are you gonna pick? Who are you gonna select? How would you not go about narrowing down your list of uh, potential interview, um, pot potential candidates to interview? Would you consider the candidates with a college degree? 
would you consider those with a, uh, with a diploma? Or would you consider a mixture? Well, here's what the Rockefeller Foundation found. Most employers who still value a college degree and they believe that is the most effective way to employ someone with the right skills required for an entry-level position. What are the right skills? You can talk about critical thinking, communication skills, quantitative, quantitative um, reasoning skills, teamwork, and so much and so forth. Here's additional data from the National Association of Colleges and Employers Job Outlook 2019 survey. Written communication skills top the list of skills employers seek on entry level job candidates' resume. They also noted that the average skills uh, uh, that, that they also considered um, the problem solving ability to work in a team, take initiative, analytical, and quantitative skills. Well, how best can you acquire the skills if you remain a high school graduate without pursuing a college degree? I know as a composition instructor, that nearly all college freshmen, first year students, have to take a composition class. In an advanced composition class, students get to sharpen their writing skills, reading skills, and thinking skills. What about in a communication class where students have to present and practice public speaking, where they get feedback from their professors and instructor? That strengthens their ability to, to um, to identify a rhetorical situation. That strengthens their ability um, to prepare speeches. And that can help them in their career once they, once, if they, once they graduate from college. If you are the type who believes in quantifying education, reducing it to financial benefits or money, think of this. Here's a quote from Derek Bach, former president of Harvard University. If you think education is expensive, why don't you try ignorance? And even on that note, when it comes to quantifying education, Mary C. Daly and Lila Bengali said this in their report in the Federal Bank of San Francisco. The average college tuition, um, college paying annual tuition of about 20,000 um, can recoup the cost of schooling by age 40. And after that, the difference between earnings continues such that the average college graduate earns over 800,000 more than the average high school graduate by retirement age. And that's not all. Researchers at Georgetown University Center on Education and Workforce in 2011 um, said that bachelor's degree holders are 84% more likely to out-earn those with just a high school diploma. Let's go back to uh, our, our scenario of uh, Michael, the Uber driver, and who is earning as much as 55,000 a year, and Anna, the counseling major psychologist, who earns 29,000 annually compared to, to, to Mike. What if, why don't we, what if we talk about a construction worker who drives a Mercedes with no college degree? Does that mean that uh, if you go to college, you cannot, and get a college degree, you can't drive a Mercedes? Consider this. Georgetown University researchers, um, Anthony P. Canaville and Michelle Merton, believe that we misunderstand uh, the value of education when we don't consider the dynamics when it comes to pursuing a college degree and the economic, economic advantages of certain degrees that um, a college degree um, holder um, possess, can possess. So they're right. While the focus recently has been on the value of higher education in general, we fail to connect the dots between specific college majors and specific career trajectories. Colleges offer offers more non-financial benefits, but there is new evidence of the oversized influence that certain majors have in preparing students for careers. You can think of an engineer who can make as much as 129,000 per, 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 per annum, 
You can think of those in, in business and finance who can make as much as 90,000 a year. But to limit these to just the counseling psychologists making $29,000 uh, $29, um, per year, that's not to say that education has no value. As they go on to show that only 10% of bachelor's degree holders in the, in, in the US economy are in the, um, have degrees from the humanities and liberal arts. And here's what is said, average salaries max very real discrepancies between the economic advantages of different undergraduate majors. While everyone who attends college can expect a significant return on their investments, different undergraduate majors lead to markedly different careers and significantly different earnings. So it depends on how you go about choosing a college degree or college major. If you decide to go into um, high finance, um, engineering, and maybe certain degrees in the humanities, um, you, come in, you, you are likely to going to out earn somebody um, who only has a, a high school diploma. College, and as this goes to show us that many de degree holders um, are working, working in different specializations, tend to have generate a higher return of investments um, on their degrees than those with only a high school diploma. And to end, I would like to provide this quote from Herbert Spencer. The great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. In summary, when it's raining heavily and you have an umbrella over your head that is strong, you're likely going to be protected from getting totally wet. Yet, there is not a guarantee that you will be completely dry as a result of deploying the umbrella. Some water might get on you, but you're still in good hands compared to one without an umbrella. Obtaining a college degree is just like possessing a strong umbrella of manifold colors. It provides you with numerous opportunities and skills, which can give one an edge during times of economic turbulence, financial insufficiency, as well as provide other numerous benefits that may not be outrightly quantifiable. Thank you.